These sweet little Christmas cloches cost me less than $2 each to make. I used everything from the Dollar Tree to put these together and it didn't take any time at all. So here is what I used when I made these Christmas cloches. I started out with a garden cloche. This is not a Christmas item. I got these at Dollar Tree back, I think even in the spring. They were originally a really shiny brown plasticky color. You can see that's how they looked originally. So I painted them with several coats of this Crafter Square acrylic paint, just a really deep gray, almost a blue color. You could do whatever color you wanted. You could spray paint them. I just had this on hand. So I did a couple coats of that, let it dry. And then here's what else I used. I used some of these little ornaments from Dollar Tree. They're not um, breakable. They're shatterproof, but they look so pretty and elegant. They have lots of different ones, but you have to get really tiny ones to fit in these cloches. So I was happy to find some tiny ones. I also used some of their faux snow. That's what the packaging looked like, but I put them in a Ziploc bag to make sure that they didn't spill everywhere because it's such a messy thing to work with. I also used Dollar Tree glue sticks. Here's what my bag looked like. My glue gun is actually from Dollar General, but um, that's the only thing that I used that wasn't from Dollar Tree. Now, as you can see, these little ornaments, I think they were originally red. So there's a little bit of red paint underneath the gold. I don't know why, but um, the packages that I bought gave me four total. I only needed three. So I just kind of pick through them and pick the ones that had the least amount of red paint underneath them. So just be aware if you've purchased those, they might be a little patchy with the paint. So once my glue gun was nice and heated up, I was ready to get started. And this is such a simple project. It doesn't take long at all. I just put some globs of hot glue on the bottom of my ornament and then moving quickly, placed it in the center of the cloche. Now, before I did this, I tested it without the glue to make sure that it would fit on the cloche and that the dome would close over it, of course. <laughs> but I just pressed it down really hard to you get the glue to set and that's all it needs to hold. It's really, really easy. Now, after you put the glue on, you will notice that there's some gaps between the ornament because it's not totally flat and then the glue. So all I'm gonna do to cover that up is just to add this faux snow. So to get the snow to stick, I'm just gonna take more of my hot glue and I like to get everything set up first because you know the hot glue does dry pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna take my glue gun and just kind of glob some little lines of glue on the base of my cloche and then kind of just smooth it around with the tip of my hot glue gun, not dispensing any more glue. And then just getting a handful of the faux snow and sprinkling it right on the hot glue. It's really simple. Now this doesn't all stick, so I kind of sprinkle more than I think I'm gonna actually need and then let the excess just kind of fall off there. So you just work all the way around the cloche, around the base until you get all of the snow filled in and that's really it. It's super simple. And I just, again, use the tip of my glue gun to spread the glue, make it a little more of a flat surface to catch all of the faux snow. And this particular snow that I got from Dollar Tree kind of has a shimmery quality to it. You can see it there even on the table. It's reflecting a lot of blue. And I thought it was really pretty. It looked very icy and I liked it a lot. You can get other kinds of faux snow from Dollar Tree that's not that blue color. So pick what you like. So after it had been sitting there for a minute, I just picked it up and tapped it off to get some of that extra snow to fall off. And then I kind of looked around to see if there were any gaps I needed to fill in, maybe add a little bit more glue and a little bit more snow. That one looks pretty good. This one's been sitting for a minute. Let's tap it off and see what falls off. It's impossible to not make a mess <laughs> when you're working with this kind of glittery faux snow and glue guns. So there we go. See, I've got some big gaps there I need to fill in. So I'm just going to grab my glue gun and repeat the process. A little glue, a little snow, a little tap, and it's pretty much done. Super simple. See how easy that was? This is a craft for a non-crafty person like myself. So if you're not a crafty person, this is a great one to start with because if you don't mind a little glitter and a little glue gun strings, you'll be set. So there we go. How pretty is that? And I took the ornament hanger off of my house. You don't have to do that, but I like the way it looked better without the string on there. You could leave it on if you prefer. It's your craft. You can do it however you want, right? 
So it's really simple just to go back in and add a little bit of extra glitter and then, or extra snow. And then before I finish the project, I like to take my dome and just kind of place it on top to make sure that I like the way it looks all together. So there, there's plenty of snow covering up all the gaps. I like it a lot. So I hope you will try this project if you're looking for a little miniature bit of Christmas cheer to add to your decor this year or next year. If you see the things in the store, pick them up ahead of time and plan to make this craft for next year. Here's how they look displayed in my Christmas decor. You'll have to watch my Christmas decor tour to see how I actually use them in my decor this year. But here they are so you can see what they look like away from the mess of my craft room. Super cute, less than $2 per craft. If you're new here, my name is Whitney. This is Come Home for Comfort. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it inspired you to do something even just similar to this with the things that you have on hand or that you see in the Dollar Tree. You can follow me on Instagram for lots more fun content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!